hello everyone uh, welcome to this course called the quantum hall effect uh, this is dr saurabh basu i'm a professor at the department of physics iit guwahati uh, i'll be teaching this course uh, called quantum hall effect and um, the discovery of the of the quantum hall effect is of paramount importance uh, to the study of modern day condensed matter physics uh, in terms of uh, determining the material properties the transport properties of uh, materials uh, it plays a very important role uh, so the experiment of uh, uh, putting a two dimensional electron gas which is uh, highly disordered in nature uh, in a transverse magnetic field shows this effect and uh, what we see is that the resistivity which is uh, transverse resistivity which um, occurs because of uh, there's a magnetic field and there'll be a low range force it uh, shows a series of plateaus and these plateaus are uh, quantized uh, in unit of h over e square which sets the benchmark of resistance h over e square is equal to 25.8 kilo ohms and um, it's because of this reason that uh, such a an experiment done um, in non ideal conditions can really uh, give rise to the unit of resistance in terms of the fundamental constant h and e was uh, of uh, huge importance and surprise to the community as well this a uh, quantum hall system is also the first realization of a topological insulator what i mean by that is that uh, the edges are conducting and the bulk of the sample remains insulating now this doesn't happen for an insulator where both the bulk and the edge uh, they behave similarly but here uh, the bulk shows completely insulating behavior whereas the edges uh, remain metallic in the course we shall learn how to uh, compute hall conductivity using kubo formula and uh, how the hall conductivity is uh, related to a topological invariant uh, called as a churn number okay and um, uh, to extend this uh, quantum hall effect in crystal lattices we shall study uh, this quantum hall effect in graphene which uh, said that uh, that the quantum hall effect can actually be uh, experienced at room temperature because uh, the difference between the energy levels of uh, of these electrons in graphene and they show uh, the the energy scale is uh, of that of a uh, room temperature uh, scale and um, finally we'll study uh, fractional quantum hall effect in which the electronic interactions need to be taken into account and um, uh, these uh, the landau levels being uh, enormously degenerate uh, the coulomb interactions are indispensable and uh, that gives rise to plateaus not at uh, integer um, times h over e square uh, rather the, the integer actually lives in the denominator Uh, but it's also the in could be fractions as well and there are a large number of fractions being seen and uh, we'll also look at a uh, spin hall effect where uh, the charge hall conductance may be absent but uh, the spins actually segregate the up and the down spin segregate in transverse edges of the sample and this has uh, applications in spintronics Uh, there are a number of nobel prizes uh, that were won on this quantum hall effect like uh, the integer quantum hall effect uh, it was awarded to kletzing and then the uh, fractional quantum hall effect was awarded to again uh, a, later in 1998 and then uh, of course uh, the guy man novoselov got the nobel prize uh, for discovery of graphene and looking at hall effect of graphene so overall this is a very uh, exciting course with many things to learn though the title suggests of a, a very narrow field uh, however the field is not narrow and uh, has enormous implications uh, in the study of uh, materials mm -hmm.